I think robotics will play a very important role in the future. I see robots in healthcare allowing, for instance, surgery to be very precise. I see robots in case of disaster intervening to save human lives. In robotics, we have mission to help and empower humans. Um, and therefore, everything we do has the human in the center. IIT, the Istituto Italiano di Tecnologia, it's a research foundation. We do material science and nanotech. We do robotics, of course. We also do life technologies, which is biology and possible applications to healthcare. We have a very large program in robotics. There are more than 350 people. We cover the entire design process. We go from the mechanics, the electronics, but also software. It's very diverse, but in a sense, we're developing this family of robots, each one tailored for a different sector. And the Advanced Robotics Group, we develop uh, robotics for biomedical applications. This comes in two flavors. One is surgical robotics and for rehabilitation. Here we develop uh, exoskeletons or prosthesis. We're developing exoskeletons also to help human workers in the factory. We're doing, uh, for instance, quadruped that can be deployed in case of disaster. We're also developing humanoids for the same purpose, so that the humans can be safe while the robot can uh, carry out a particular task. The whole purpose of legged systems is to go onto environments where wheeled and tracked vehicles cannot go. The most recent version of our robot is called HiQ Real. And to demonstrate its power and its nice design, we brought it to the airport of Genoa so that it can pull a 3.3 ton airplane. All our robots are driven by hydraulic actuators. The hydraulic actuator has a very high power density and can live with, can cope with impacts very well. One of the grand challenges of legged systems is how to place the foot on a correct spot. So we have developed a, an approach in which footholds can be selected and corrected in a very fast way. At the moment, our focus is industrial robots. They can be fixed-based or mobile-based. Mobile robots can be just like humans going around, doing some scanning, understanding and responding to the needs of the people. We recently created MOCA, which stands for Mobile Collaborative Robot Assistant, the integration of a robotic arm and mobile base. The more you bend your body, the faster the platform will move. We are trying to introduce these systems in industrial applications to see who is the co-worker that they are supposed to work with, to respond to their intentions and needs, both physical and social, and eventually to improve their ergonomics of, of working. It's a revolutionary thinking of improving productivity in industrial environments that are dynamically changing. Ciao, Aika. Ciao. We look at how biological systems uh, work and try to develop technology uh, and integrate it into robots to make them fully autonomous. We look at neuromorphic or even driven types of sensing devices uh, for vision and integrate them on humanoid platforms. We are uh, mostly using the iCAB robot to improve its interaction with the external world. The idea is to integrate also neuromorphic computing devices to give uh, autonomy to the robots thanks to low power devices, very efficient computation that is more capable of extracting information from the external signals. We don't really yet understand the mechanisms that a human brain uses during interactions with others, humans or artificial agents such as robots try to address that with scientific methods. The project that we're working on is focusing on what sort of conditions make humans uh, attribute mental states to the robot and make humans attuned to the robot. We try to tap onto very implicit and subtle mechanisms of social cognition. The way to measure for us is to use methods such as eye tracking or EEG or reaction times in a task. We actually need to work with roboticists, developmental psychologists, cognitive psychologists, social psychologists to develop paradigms and address the questions that we are trying to address. IIT has, let's say, double mission. 
um, to do research, but also to transfer technology to the market. We're doing startups, but we also patenting. We have a number of joint labs uh, with companies where we're developing new robots, and we have collaboration with hospitals uh, to deliver the robots to the healthcare sector. IT Robotics is amazing. Uh, first of all, it's our flagship project. We have um, brilliant researchers that are really working at the forefront of uh, research in robotics. One of the, I think, most positive points about IIT is that you know a lot of people with different backgrounds, with different expertise. We actually impact each other's work as well, our own research. This is a very, very unique environment, given the possibility of having interactions between disciplines. I don't think there's a better place on, on Earth. 